Hey guys, Ben Place here. Welcome to episode, uh, what is this, 7 now? Of the Great Ace Attorney. Um, welcome to more Great Ace Attorney. Um, I'm here with, uh, Golden Knight and Steak, just like last time, and we're just gonna hop right into it. If it would ever load. 22nd November, 1.14 p.m. Supreme Court of Judicature, Courtroom 2. Dude. <clears throat> well, I understand you're the judicial assistant to the defense, but why this sudden ingress into my courtroom? A judicial assistant, and a woman no less. The rules state that females are not permitted into this court of law other than to testify. Wow. Yes, I fully understand. I ask only for five minutes of time. I have some vital evidence that I must hand over to the defense. You're too late, little girl. This trial has already been concluded. <clears throat> Five minutes. I will not allow a moment more, Pilgrim. Mostly because I'm too drunk to walk away from here right now. But your excellency! I am most grateful. Just me. Um, who exactly are you? I'm Maya Fey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no time. Please, simply accept this for now. Okay. What is it, a report about something, written in English? It's Giselle Brett's research. The English woman's? After the trial resumed earlier, I hurried back to the university. This would not be admissible because, again, discovery would be a thing, but, you know. I went to Dr. Wilson's laboratory right. in the medical f faculty and borrowed this paper. Although I can't speak if it's the same for Japan as America, but... <clears throat> Oh yes, that's right. Miss Brett was studying under the professor, wasn't she? Phrasing. So does this research, whatever it is, have something to do with this case? I'm afraid I don't know. I haven't been able to listen to the proceedings of the trial myself. Oh, no, of course not. Hmm. Special characteristics of curare and its effects on human subjects. Interesting. Isn't that a villain on Batman Beyond? Curare, what's that? I've never heard that word before. Nor have I, Ryunosuke, it's okay. Time's up! The prosecution demands the immediate removal of this female trespasser from the courtroom. There was too little time for me to read it in detail. But I've summarized what I could on a note just inside the cover. If you think it could be valuable, please cast your eye over it. Oh, uh, we're examining it the second we can. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful, thank you. Giselle's report has been added into the court record. Goodbye then, and good luck. Synopsis, a poison made from the bark of certain trees in the jungles of South America. The hunters of the region have used it since ancient times to incapacitate their prey. Huh, is that so? Effects, instant paralysis of the entire body and subsequent death, even in minute doses. Root of entry, the above mentioned effects occur when the poison enters the body through a wound, such as that inflicted by a blowpipe dart. Uh, what do you know, it's a real thing. 
Due to its ability to render the human body paralytic, it's believed that the toxin could have application as an anesthetic. However, a solution for the respiratory arrest caused as a result of the full body paralysis must be found first, or pa patients would die of suffocation. Hmm. So, he didn't have to be dead, he could have been paralyzed. <clears throat> you have had long enough, Council. We cannot detain our English guest any longer. Hold it! I ask the prosecution and the defense now one last time. Does either side have any further evidence to present to the court? I presume not, but... Ah, uh, okay, apparently... Yeah, never mind. I need to bring my laptop closer. The prosecution has made its case convincingly enough already. Nothing more to add, Your Excellency. <laughs> Ryunosuke, we're out of options here. This really is our very last chance. Vedas, this is your last chance. Battle me or die. Alright, yes, I know. <laughs> your Excellency, the defense does have new evidence. Dot, 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 dot! Hmm, that look. The unyielding stare of a true Japanese warrior. Like Sarada Yukimura. Well, Miss Brett? Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could grace us with your presence a little longer. It's a delightful invitation. But I'm afraid... It's not so very long until tea time. I didn't catch that last line. <laughs> Forgive me, Miss Brett, it seems I wasn't clear. I realized it was phrased as a question as though I were on some future game show. However... I must ask you to treat that as an order. It's not really like Jeopardy, it's more just like, you know, like... I've said it many times before, but... The Japanese language makes no sense. Your face makes no sense. Your hat makes no sense. My apologies, dear lady. So, Council... What is the new evidence that demands the court's attention? Okay, we may as well just do it. Yeah, it's not like yes, we just got I'm any here. defense. Evidence. Miss Giselle Brett, we understand you were studying under Dr. Wilson at UMA University, doing research. Research, by sheer, sheer coincidence perhaps, into a deadly poison. What? Wait, let me redo that line. Poison? What? <clears throat> Poison? I love that song. Where are you going with this, Council? A toxin known as Curira, Your Excellency. Even the slightest amount of this deadly poison entering the body leads to instant death. Attention! What? What complete and under nonsense? Kirara, you say? I've never even heard of it. Huh, <sighs> you wouldn't have done. What do you mean? I mean that you wouldn't have heard of Kirari before for one simple reason. <laughs> doesn't exist in our country. 
It doesn't exist? Correct. Which means... <laughs> no matter what tests the police can do for toxins, they'd never identify curare. Why? Because there is no test available here that can identify the pr presence of this highly deadly poison. Mm. What? <clears throat> Who called that one again? Order! Order in the court! First one to speak is a monkey for a week! <laughs> Council, does this deadly poison truly exist? According to this report authored by the visiting research student from England, Curare has long been used by the tribes people of South America as a poison to lace their arrows. It seems that it's reasonably well known among European doctors and scientists. To, to lace their arrows? The reports state that it's produced from the extract of a tree that grows deep in the Amazonian jungle. And that it was first brought back to Europe at the turn of the century by explorers. It claims that animals shot by arrows laced with curare suffer instant death. Okay. Doesn't that about sum it up, Miss Brett? She had her mask down trumpery. and everything. These aspersions are utter trumpery. Um, I have to look up what that means. To start with, like if the victim of charges. Oh, okay. Sorry. To start with, if the victim had been administered some of this so-called deadly poison, he would have been squirming and writhing in pain, and the other diners would have surely noticed. Hmm, that's true. What do you say to that, Inspector? <clears throat> oh yes, I've taken the liberty. Obviously, I would have noticed a disturbance like that. Hmm, I don't remember anything like that either. I didn't notice the professor being in any kind of pain. Don't use professor and pain in the same sentence. According to this, however, it's the other way around. Why? Why did- no, not why it's the other way around, don't, but why- Don't ask. Okay. What do you mean, the other way around? The very fact the victim didn't show any visible signs of distress is evidence that curare was used. Because of the paralysis? Explain yourself, Council. I'm too dumb to understand this sciencey, magic y stuff. The moment the toxin enters a person's system, it causes instant paralysis. <laughs> In other words, afflicted victims lose all strength and are completely unable to move. Even if they were in total agony, there would be no signs of pain at all. How very terrible! Obviously, if a man lost all strength in his muscles, he'd collapse on the floor. But with a chair under him for support, as Dr. Wilson did, the effects would go largely unnoticed. But I don't follow, Kazuma. That's just paralysis. I thought the poison caused instant death. The paral par I'm sorry. Dot dot dot. The full explanation is extremely unpleasant. The poison causes immediate paralysis, as I said, leaving the victim unable to move. But after a short time, the paralysis is so severe, it causes the muscles that control respiration to fail. That is the worst way to go. Respiration. Yes, Rinosuke, breathe Breathing, dumbass! In other words, the actual cause of death is suffocation. And all the while, the victim is conscious and aware, just unable to move. Ugh. Oh, God. That is the worst, worst way to go. That's hideous! To the observer, it would appear as though the victim was slipping peacefully into an endless sleep. But for the victim himself, his final moments were living hell. That face is mood. 
That is the true nature of this deadly curare poison. Dot, 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 dot. And you're suggesting that this bottle cancel actually contains this terrifying poison? Attention! This... this is all very convenient, isn't it? A hitherto unknown poison for which there is no means of testing? What a happy tale for the defense! Ahem. If I may... All these facts! You think you're so clever, <laughs> but you must be... Hmm... It is you who must be taught. Of course. Dear lady! Oh. Dear lady. <clears throat> so, this is how you Japanese behave, is it? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> You steal another's honest hard work and then announce the results as if you discovered them? I'm appalled. What a loathsome act. Your club's gonna stay in the video, probably, but... Well, Miss Brett, the feeling is mutual. Whatever do you mean? Capitalizing on the unfortunate circumstances of an innocent man to frame him for a heinous crime? That really is a loathsome act. Wouldn't you agree? Attention! He's doing the eye thing again. Enough of this! I, for one, refuse to accept it! The idea of some poison that doesn't even exist in the Great Empire of Japan is... is... breaking the rules! Screw the rules, I have money! <laughs> oh. Crap. Eh? What's so funny? Oh, nothing. I Come misclicked on. and I didn't actually click on the window. Oh, excuse me. Your Excellency. <clears throat> uh, yes, Miss Brett? May I borrow that bottle for a moment, please? Oh dear god, she's gonna drink from it. Um, <laughs> That's well, what I just um, thought. Yeah, I don't see, um, well, uh, why not? I, <laughs> if it's got... <laughs> she might have the antidote. I've taken the liberty of preparing a towel in the cup, yes. Don't get too big for your boots, you insignificant little island boys. Sorry. To an English woman such as myself, this whole affair is a farcical comedy. Your little police games and these foolish courtroom antics, it's laughable really. I'm getting bored of all of it now. It's time for the games to end. Cheers! Wait! What are you doing? left at all. How appropriate for this shabby affair. I'd love to have a shabby affair with her, wait what? Hmm. Da 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 pilgrim. <laughs> Goodness. Whatever is the matter? You all look quite stunned. So, no curare. 
bottle was clean. Is that what you're saying? But what if the glass wasn't? It's the glass, it's the glass, that's why she hid the glass. I think you might be right. But that would be my guess. <laughs> you look quite incredulous, little boy. But of course, that's the simple truth. Wow, she's creepy when voiced by you. <laughs> You're doing a good job of making her seem creepy, I don't know why. Thank you for presenting the findings of my research so concisely here in this grand venue. Most kind. Pardon me. Thank you, waiter. Now then, your excellency. Uh, yes, Miss Brett. I should like to be excused now, please. I think I've given more than enough of my time for the furtherance of friendship between our countries. Ah, uh, yes, dear lady. We are most gratified with all the assistance you've given. It's all over. This doesn't make any sense! There had to have been poison in that bottle! Turn your thinking around! So how? How did she... How did she swallow a whole glass and live to tell the tale? Either that or she's built up an immunity. I don't understand it! Well, I suppose if nothing else, this little Far Eastern charade will make for an interesting conversation at the next party I attend in London. There has to have been poison in that bottle, doesn't there? But there can't have been, because otherwise she would have killed over dead. Your Honor? I propose that that we let her drink from the glass she took from the crime scene. That bottle of water contains no poison. Frank, something else does. Maybe the steak. As I thought, there is no poison in that bottle. Well, don't say that. First, think of how. <laughs> okay, never mind. He's doing the eye thing again. What? Why, Ryunosuke? Isn't it obvious? If there was poison in there, she'd be dead by now. Right, we established that already. Dot dot dot. Sometimes your unadulterated naivety really astounds me. But sometimes, it's in need of a good staining. Until it's as dark as your uniform in the ways of the world. Oh, is that what this color is supposed to represent? Well, allegedly, the white belt is supposed to get dirtier and dirtier until it goes black. Sorry. What? I that got a was a guileless ending. That was a guileless ending to a promising line of inquiry, Council, for which you will be penalized. What? But there was no poison well, in the bottle. Okay. Why are we getting penalized? And are, are we going to need a the bottle? This means that she is uh, an immunity. Uh, this whole trial is poisoned. We're oh. gonna need an agent of inquiry. Inspector Manderville. I'm sorry, but there could have just been poison or in the in glass, but whatever. The antidote. Or she's in a hurry to get the antidote. She couldn't have been she wouldn't have been able to talk if she didn't have an immunity yeah. to the poison. Because she's she'd be paralyzed. Unless of course it does Unless of course it's an injury only poison. That bottle of water. The culprit did put curare poison into Dr. Wilson's carbonated water. I... The defense refuses to change its position. <sighs> okay. I don't know what's going on. You're serious? Yeah, because sometimes they give you that thing where you're supposed to give the choice where it's like... 
you know, it can't be proven or evidence like that doesn't exist. You're supposed to do that one, you know? Fool! Are you blind? There's no possible way that a bottle could contain poison. I mean, we just saw... Miss Brett drinking the water from it. That's right. Which rather complicates your argument, I think. And I believe that complication can be explained. How exactly? <laughs> I need to think through all the things that don't quite add up here one by one. I'm sure the answer is in the evidence we have in the court record somewhere. It has to be. <clears throat> Very well, if the defense truly intends to assert this claim... Then I must ask you to support this assertion with some evidence. What explains how the witness was able to consume this supposedly okay. poison water Okay, I call unscathed? bullshit on the last thing that we said because, um... Because it it was specifically talking yes. about the bottle, the not bottle. the glass. <clears throat> it seems the defense, or should I say the wretched accused it, has made the wrong choice. It is the only <laughs> real source of complication in this case. You'll have to think oh. harder than that, defendant. Guys, you're gonna need it's, to help I me. I guess it's not the cup. Oh, it's all not right, I'll um. then. Uh, let's look at the. Uh, let's look at the poison information again. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the. Uh, You're making this complication more complicated research. than it needs to be. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best to find an answer that fits the facts. <laughs> if the defense, sorry, the wretched accused, truly intends to assert this claim, why am I repeating myself? Then I must needs ask you to support with evidence. Blah 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 blah. Make your choice. Let's see, um, hunters have used it, do, 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 do. Through a wound. Oh, fuck, you're right. Frick. Yes! Oh! He had a wound in his mouth! What do you mean? He just had a tooth pulled. Oh. The answer to this riddle is right here in Miss Brett's own research report. That's not a valid explanation. <clears throat> no. After all... <clears throat> we don't speak English. That report is utter gibberish. This impudent young scoundrel is trying to ridicule the court, Your Excellency. I'm not trying to ridicule kill anyone honest I'm just reading susato san's notes I concur this report is too extensive to be considered in its entirety by the court okay it's one of these things where you have to pick what page it's on yeah you will direct us to the pertinent section council what section of the report blah 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 uh crafting on uh oh thank god it lets you look at it isn't there at least one game where it doesn't let you look at it while you have that choice? Yep, and that page. would be the first yeah, game special. during the DL6 case. Oof. The route of entry. Okay, special characteristics is the page. Oops, I thought this shit was muted. <laughs> We've been hearing a lot about this curare poison. And it's left me curious about something. Oh, Council? Well, it sounds as though indigenous hunters have been using this poison for years and years to lace the heads of the arrows that they shoot at whatever prey they're hunting. So we've been led to believe, yes. And the point of hunting is to catch prey to eat. Get to the point, please! But if they were to use those laced arrows, doesn't that mean there would be traces of poison left in the prey the hunters were going to eat? This is by no... Yes. Good point! Hmm? 
So surely the hunters wouldn't want to eat their prey, would they? Because then they'd be eating poison. Good gracious, councils! Now that would be madness! But I actually found the answer to that conundrum in this research paper here. Under special characteristics, it says this. The poison starts to work after entering the body through a wound. Through a wound, you say? I see, that makes sense. Yes, the mention of that particular detail seemed a little strange to me, though. But it all makes sense when you interpret what's written like this. When Kirare enters the body through an open wound, it has terrifying poisonous effects. However, when it enters the body via the mouth, it has no poisonous effects whatsoever. What? Miss Brett? You authored this research. You knew Kirare's special characteristics, and you knew that you can make a spectacle of drinking that water without any danger to yourself. You meddling little... Ah! Oh my god, that's a real swan! I freaking called it! Sorry, I didn't... I was joking, game! <laughs> well, Ryunosuke, it turns out... That's a real swan. I was gonna say something, but that completely surprised me, and I lost my train of thought. You're even <laughs> blah blah blah. You're an even better lore than I thought. I didn't be. even say my line. <laughs> that just surprised me. <laughs> really? Me? <laughs> I don't even remember what her line was. Let's see. Rap scallion. Oh yeah, I was go I was gonna make a meddling kids joke. A uh, lawyer. But then that swan moved, and why does my controller keep, like, jumping? Game? Dear Capcom, I was joking when I said, is that a real swan? All this poison talk is fascinating, I'm sure! <laughs> so, the ill-bred little puppy has a new toy to play with? Some facts he read in a book? Oh my god, look at her mask. But I'm afraid belt. knowledge doesn't suit you, little boy. It only makes you look silly. My boy. What are you trying to say? Why did I just give him a British accent? Why is my mouth mouse not working? Your schoolboyish logic has a fatal flaw. Schoolboyish. Flaw. As even your brain has managed to deduce, curare is safe to ingest. It seems likely that its effects are neutralized by the acidic nature of the gastric success. Oh, yes, well, of course. Gastric suckers? What are they? <laughs> so, if this lethal poison is completely harmless when drunk... The professor wouldn't have died when he swallowed it, would he? Ah! Oh, Steak, I think you're right. That's right! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Balls of fire tarnation! That's basic science. Science that even a schoolboy should be able to understand, no? Order! Order in the court! Order! The logic holds. If the lady and the professor drank the same poison, they'd be affected the same way. Are, are you trying to suggest? Yes, this curare poison is completely irrelevant to the case on trial. That's right. 
Surely even a little cockroach like you could hmm. understand something as simple as that? She's scary looking. She is scary looking. What is this welling up inside me? Oh, I'll tell you when you're you, older. You, <laughs> you better keep it down, <laughs> Rita Suke. Jeez. I've never felt like this before. Is this game trying to... Oh my god. It's almost like the people of Capcom of America have watched Lucas' stuff. <laughs> almost. <laughs> it's a sort of conviction to break down all the discrepancies. It's so intense. Almost rage-like. She needs to play this game. It was meant for her. And more than anything else, it's an animalistic desire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> to take well, down my look, prey. Get on this game now. <laughs> well, primal is a role you can pick on. <laughs> Luca really line, needs you know. to get on this game. Yep. Yeah. Wait, who like said objection? Yep, yeah, primal is a role you can pick I on. I don't think so, Mr. Okay. Zale Brett. How? Oh, how dare you use that tone with me? Also, did her thing get bigger? Her, whatchamacallit? Uh, she's her, holding her, her, out closer. closer. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know very well that there's no fatal flaw here. You know exactly why, even though both of you and the, both you and the victim swallowed the same poison. You are alive, but Dr. Wilson is dead. Is anybody else getting an echo? Yeah, I'm getting an echo too. Hear, feel, think. Council, I'm sure I don't need to remind you. You must provide compelling evidence. As now we both know the poison is completely harmless when ingested. Why would Dr. Wilson have been killed by the curare? I have a good idea. Take that! There we go! Finally! Finally, instead of his stupid yes line. As Miss Brett so readily pointed out, she drank the same water as the professor. However, there was a fundamental and fatal difference between the two diners. A fatal difference? The toxic effects of curare are only felt when the poison enters the body through an open wound. So for a healthy person with no injuries, drinking it is completely harmless. But... What if there was a wound inside the mouth of the person drinking the poisoned water? Inside? Yes, like the wound you might have if you had just been to the dentist and had a tooth extracted, for example. Ah! Miss Brett, you've acknowledged many times in your testimony already that you were well aware of Dr. Wilson's dental appointment that day. That's right, Kaiba. Ah. So that's it. You use that knowledge to orchestrate this. <laughs> Is it breakdown time? Tell me it's breakdown time. Is she... Laughing? I don't like to repeat myself, but honestly, I can't resist. These childish courtroom games and your half-baked arguments are also puerile. Alright, English expert, what do you have for us? What does that mean? Did I even pronounce it right? That's another uh, good question. Childish. It means oh. childish. Childishly oh. silly and trivial. So she's being redundant. What? What do you mean? No, she's not being redundant. She's using but a she different word before. in order to. <laughs> yeah, like a skaven. Don't worry, little schoolboy. You'll find out soon enough. You see, when you leave vital evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. No! I mean, it could just... slip. 
Um, isn't destruction of evidence against the rules? She's already broken the law by killing him. Oh dear, how careless of me. I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. Can't she be arrested for that? Even if she she's can't, even damn. if they can't prove. Basically, no! What is what, what is just happened? That's the English woman. She just smashed that bottle. And in the Supreme Court, what a terrible blunder! Sir, what are you waiting for? Collect as much of that water from that broken bottle as possible at once! You're wasting your time. This delightful carpet under my feet here was a gift from the British Empire. I assure you, it will soak up the water beautifully. What is this game? Is you have neither the technology nor the presence of mind to recover it. There'd still be residue on the glass. <laughs> I don't know what this game is anymore. How could you? You you won't get away with this. I won't let you. You can thump the bench and shout as much as you like, little boy. But I'm afraid we'll never know now, will we? If there really was poison in the bottle or not. I think we have a pretty good guess just by her destroying it, but okay. Y you! And let us not forget. We still have some very compelling evidence left intact. Isn't that right, counsel for the prosecution? Oh, of course, of course. You're referring to this photographic print, I, did, I presume, dear lady? <clears throat> That's right. And really, looking at this photograph, it's as clear as day, isn't it? The poor professor was sitting with his back to me. This has got to be the longest tutorial ever. Of course, the only person who could have shot him from the front is the little schoolboy. Objection! No! You killed the victim that day using curare. And then, in order to frame Ryunosuke Narahodo for the crime, you waited until he picked up the pistol you'd arranged for him to find on the floor. Before you shot the professor's dead body in the chest with your own hidden gun. Then, in the confusion that followed, all you had to do was turn the dead professor and his chair around. You see, you had every opportunity to commit this crime. <laughs> what a wonderful imagination you have, young man. Well, sorry. A hidden gun, you say? And I shot the professor's dead body, did I? Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you don't have a shred of evidence. They have to make every tutorial case more and more complicated, and I guess they had to do out outdo Dual Destinies, because Dual Destinies was complicated as heck. And so... Yeah, kind of was. Exactly! <laughs> And as you have nothing to support your wild claims, the prosecution's stance remains unchanged. The victor, the victor, the victim, the Dr. John H. Wilson, was killed by a gunshot wound to the chest. Delivered in cold blood by the accused, Rinosuke Narahodo. Ugh. This is unbelievable. How can this be happening? We had her. But now, is she really going to get away with it? The way she destroyed that evidence was obscene. Ryunosuke! Yes? We've come this far, but now, 
Now you're the only one who can finish her! What? What do you mean? We've lost a vital piece of evidence, it's true. So if there are any clues left for us to use now, they must be in your head! Oh, is it gonna be the lightning round? What is the... I... In my head... <laughs> Sorry, my mind is random, so when I heard that part, I'm like... In your head, in your head... Uh, you told that's, me that's, me I did that on purpose. Me. You told me before your powers of observation were the one thing you could really depend upon. Well, yes, that's true, but... But I didn't manage to notice that this woman was a foreigner with this one on her head. So think back again now. Try to remember every last detail about the scene that day. I thought it was a stuffed swan at first. I didn't know it was gonna be real. So did I! I <laughs> joked about it being real, like, in episode 3, I think it was? <laughs> everything you saw, everything you felt, every color, every smell. Probably episode 4. Yeah, that startled me too. What I saw, what I felt. If only he had the echo! Every color. Merp. Is Kazuma right? Merp. Somewhere in the vibrant memory of this same scene in my head. Could there be another clue to expose the identity of Dr. Wilson's killer? That's not steak blood. Actually, Kazuma, I think I might have something. Thinking back over everything you saw, I think I might have uncovered another clue. <laughs> you always have something up your sleeve, don't you, Ryunosuke? Come on then! Let's wipe the smug smile off that English woman's face with some evidence! All right, I can't wait. It's been niggling me for a while that something feels amiss in my memories of that day. Whatever it is could be the key to arriving at the truth about all this. It's here somewhere, the clue that shows you Dr. R oh, I hope I'm right about this. You mean the blood? Yes, quite. Um. Take that! Inspector Hosanaga, answer me this. Is it time to end off the episode? I think it is indeed. Uh, yes? Uh, what is it? Uh, sorry. In the next episode. We'll find out what it is. <laughs> oh, very good, sir. Taking the liberty of, uh, yes.